July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Fish and wildlife officers in southeast Kentucky have spent much of the past few weeks responding to calls reporting sick or dead white-tailed deer. And once they arrive, they quickly realize that deer has not been shot or hit by a vehicle. We suspect that it's EHD, uh, which is also known as blue tongue. Uh, we've had uh, over a dozen reports in southern McGoffin County, uh, several reports in Floyd and Knott County area. The only positive thing that can be said about EHD, or epizootic hemorrhagic disease, is that an infected deer cannot transmit the disease to another deer. It comes from the bite of one fly. A biting fly that's caught a midge that infects the deer. Uh, typically during uh, August to October is when we see this, but this year we've had a, a dry spell for a few weeks and that's usually what brings it on is uh, when you have a, a short drought, you have uh, water holes that uh, get smaller. And unless we have some measurable rain soon, Sergeant Thomas says the situation will probably continue to get worse. But in the meantime, officers are asking the public to keep an eye out for sick or dead deer. If you see a deer that's, that's going in circles, it's lost its fear of humans, it's near water and it's still alive, it may be swollen around its head, um, from that point just give us a call and uh, we'll see if we can't get someone out there as soon as possible so we can get some samples from them. Uh, typically once they have died the sample is only good for one hour. Even if you find a dead deer outside that one hour window, Sergeant Thomas still asks that you report it. And we are uh, collecting data from that and, and putting GPS points uh, that way that uh, the wildlife staff can take a look at it on a map and pinpoint exactly where our greatest area is being hit. White-tailed deer are the only animals that contract EHD, so there is no danger to pets, livestock, or elk. Reports of sick or dead deer can be made by calling 1-800-25-ALERT. Reporting from Floyd County, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.